jewelry may be on your loved one's wish list this holiday season, or you may be looking to sell some of your jewelry to get some extra holiday cash. Fox 23 evening anchor Shea Rozzi talked with the Better Business Bureau about the steps you should take so you don't get ripped off. It's today's Buyer Beware report. Shopping for the perfect jewelry for that special someone can be overwhelming unless they let you know the specific piece they want. Still, Amy Mitchell, CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Eastern Oklahoma, says you want to shop around. The first thing you want to do if you are purchasing is look at multiple different stores. Do your research online um, of what you're looking for, what the value of that item normally goes for. Maybe shop around a couple of different places online and then pick more than one store to physically go in to buy that jewelry to compare the items they may be different if you're selling jewelry the BBB says be aware of scammers especially when dealing with online companies that have you mail your jewelry to them we have had issues that with this in the years past a lot of complaints where people will say oh I've got some extra gold or whatever I'm gonna mail it off and they're gonna send me a check back you really really have to be careful with reading the fine print um, they may evaluate your item. You may not get the money you thought you were going to get. And then some of them are scam companies. So you may mail off this jewelry and get nothing back. She also recommends trying to sell your jewelry locally, either to another person or business, so you don't have to worry about anything getting lost in the mail. Another important thing to keep in mind, know what you're selling. So the first thing that you want to do is do some research on that item and make sure you really know the value of that item. What would it be if I sold it person to person? What would it be if I sold it to a resale shop? You may get a little bit less value there, but depending on your situation, you may want it quicker. So just weigh out your options there with selling, but really know what product you have before you start. Also by selling in person, if you decide your items are worth more than what a business is offering, you can choose to walk out and sell to someone else offering you more. You can find businesses that buy jewelry by searching the BBB's website. I typed in jewelry buyers and found Tulsa Gold and Silver is BBB accredited with an A-plus rating, as is Bartlesville Cash for Gold and more, just to name a couple during my quick search. The BBB reports on companies that both buy and sell jewelry, so you can search their site to see if the business has a BBB rating before you take in your jewelry or other items. We'll have a link in this story on fox23.com. Covering news that matters, Shay Rossi, Fox 23 News.